Pretend you're this guy. You've always wanted to play an instrument. You've seen all the videos, and it's time. You're finally going to learn. The timing is perfect, Christmas is just here, and you get that guitar. This is going to be your year. New Year's hits, you set your resolutions plans, search for a tutorial of your favorite song, and start playing every day after school or work. You're scrolling through your Instagram, and you see your buddy killing it on his guitar, and you know you're going to get there too. You practice every day for three weeks, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, here we come. But then something happened. Suddenly, everything gets so much harder. You watch a video, and you don't understand why that guy's chords sound so much better than yours. You've been playing for almost a month, and you still can't get that stupid G chord. Am I stupid? How can his fingers stretch so far? Why do my hands hurt so much? Then you get home one day and decide you're going to take the night off with some video games. Then the next day hits, and it's time to catch up with Netflix. Then suddenly you blink, and it's been three weeks since you picked up that guitar, and you still haven't made beautiful music or have that bus full of groupies screaming your name. You realize that it takes a lot of practice to get good, but that's really the problem, isn't it? It's just so hard to see how it's worth it and so easy to get back into those same habits of wasting time on your favorite social media app, lying on the couch, or taking extra long showers. You aren't practicing anymore, and you don't even want to. You start to forget why you started learning in the first place. See, a lot of people tend to run into the cycle of progress with their instrument, whether that's guitar, piano, drums, or any other instrument. They go through periods of about a month being super motivated to learn and practicing all the time to not even picking it up for the next six months to a year. This cycle continues year after year, but they make no progress and after 30 years later still can't play more than a few basic chords, but doesn't need to be this way. All right. 2020 is coming right to an end, and it's been a great year. We have enough. But there's so many questions about transmission of, of the virus. We did human to human. To Australia, where they're facing those massive fires. Down what the president means by illegal votes, and if there has been. Well, at least for guitarists, it has. Truly, the amount of progress I've been able to make this year with all the extra time has been awesome. And with the lockdowns continuing into the new year, there's still plenty of time for you to do the same. Now, I'm no psychologist, I'm just a guy who's been playing guitar for 17 years, but I'm pretty proud of that, and I really believe with just a few simple reminders, you'll be able to get over the mental hurdle of quitting an instrument, and I want to let you know that it's so worth it in the end. So here's how you can actually learn the guitar this year. Every musician goes through this cycle at some point. I still have weeks where I barely play the guitar and it's my full-time job. Here are the strategies I use when I find myself in a point where it seems difficult or the glitter and initial rush of excitement wears off. Now these tips may seem simple on the surface, but that's kind of the point. These are made to be things that you constantly remind yourself in order to not give up because sticking with it is the most important part of getting good. So remind yourself of these anytime you're feeling unmotivated and even come back to this video during those times when you're really considering quitting. Just pick it up. Just literally pick up the guitar. It's that easy. I guarantee you'll do something with it once it's in your lap. Repeat this daily. That's it. All you need for this tip. It really is that simple. You don't need to think about it any deeper. But this is the most important tip in this list. To add to that, put your guitar in a place where you walk by all the time so you see it. If your guitar is looking at you all the time, you're much more likely to make eye contact and flirt with it a little bit. I've got a guitar right beside my desk, beside my studio chair, on the walls, lying on the couch, lying on the other couch, in the bedroom. You get the idea. Mitch has one guitar, but he carries it and the stand around with him all day long. Stop spending time on your phone. These days, it's really hard to use the excuse that you don't have time for a hobby. As screen time goes up, the validity of saying, I don't have time for guitar goes way down. Guitar is such an enriching hobby, and once you get good, it's a really cool and fun way to better yourself. Use it as an escape from the endless hours you waste on your phone. Seriously, I play guitar a lot, and the only time I have to sacrifice is the hours I used to spend mindlessly drooling on my phone. We all know that we spend too much time on our phones, and if you just replace that phone with a guitar in your hand instead, you'd be so much happier. Playing guitar does make you cooler. Now, this shouldn't be the main reason you play, but let's be real, it's definitely part of the reason that a lot of guitarists want to play. And the awesome part is, it's true. 
When you get good at guitar, you get to show it to people. They think it's really cool and are generally impressed with your music. It's a pretty awesome feeling to be able to impress people. This doesn't mean you're going to start being the guy who turns off the speaker at a party and forces everyone to watch him play, but you'll be pleasantly surprised that there are moments that people ask you to play for them and circle around you like you're putting on a show. Remember that it is fun. A lot of practice seems boring, but it's all for those fun moments. And nothing feels better than actually nailing a song or creating your own. When those good feelings hit, really take them in. Let yourself enjoy those moments and feel free to make those stupid guitar faces, maybe even kiss your guitar every once in a while. Then when you're having a boring practice, just try and remember how those good moments felt. Follow a step-by-step -step plan. It's much easier than watching videos that are out of order. My impressive acoustic guitarist program will take you from step one to 100 in order. There are lots of other websites that will take the guesswork out as well, and one of the best I've found is today's video sponsor, Skillshare. You don't need courses to learn guitar, but it will make things a whole lot faster and makes practice less stressful when it's clear. Skillshare is an awesome website for anyone who loves learning new things online. It's full of all kinds of inspiring classes for a variety of different creative topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, music production, and many, many more. It's also full of tons of awesome guitar classes for you guys to speed up the process of improving on guitar. Millions of people are already using Skillshare and seeing success with their new skills, and you could join that community of millions for less than $10 a month for the annual subscription. It's really a great way to further your progress on guitar because like YouTube, there are lots of skilled, experienced guitar teachers, except they filter out all the bad lessons, and each of these teachers have made designated courses for you in order so that you're not scrolling and searching all over the place for good content. I've actually got a few courses there on myself as well. It's also cool because you might find yourself joining to learn guitar, but once you subscribe, you've got access to everything, so you might find yourself in no time learning completely different, unique skills to show off to people. I'm really pumped that Skillshare reached out to me because that means I get to promote them with an offer that benefits you guys. So for the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description, they'll get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, so take advantage of that before it runs out. Stick with it. It will probably take longer than you think. Just like anything, the people who are good have just practiced a lot. Everyone's surprised when it takes a few months to be able to play a basic strumming pattern, but everyone takes several months to be able to do that. You're probably progressing better than you think. Rest if you get sore. You're pressing with your fingertips on tensioned steel strings. It's going to make your fingers hurt at the start. That's fine. Just take a break when they start to hurt and come back when they don't. Progressive overload. Just like going to the gym, you're not suddenly going to bench 225 pounds on day one. Start small and try one chord. Then just build gradually. Maybe you can't play a full song today, but if you gradually build on your skills, it will come. Even if you can't play a single chord today, if you keep working on it, it'll happen with time. Keep it fun. Play things you enjoy. When you can start to play them decent, it'll be interesting and that'll motivate you to keep learning. It's nice to take a very casual approach to learning guitar. If you think there's a right way to learn, then you're wrong. It really doesn't matter what you do as long as you don't quit and you continue to find ways to make yourself enjoy it. So with that, there are my tips for learning an instrument in 2021. It's gonna be a great year, I can feel it, so let's get off to a great start and do some cool things. Make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this, hit that thumbs up button, and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. You can also get all my tabs and bonus content by subscribing to my Patreon in the link in the description below. We're giving away a $1,000 guitar at 100 patrons. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.